Hello everyone, Assistant Narrator Richardson here. And you know what? I'm just going to get straight into this SCP. It's a good one. Item number SCP-6692. Restriction level, level 2, classified. Object class, Keta. This has been stricken from the record and is now formal. Special Containment Procedures Research and investigation into SCP-6692 manifestations are ongoing. Verbal slash written orders that contain terms such as missile and small arms are to be rescinded and altered to prevent potential collateral damage to Foundation operations. Description SCP-6692 is a series of semantic manifestations occurring throughout Site-81 and Site-118, which predominantly affect words pertaining to weaponry, rendering them ineffective when commanded either verbally or through written documentation. The anomaly itself has been observed in 73% of all instances relating to terms affected by SCP-6692, causing considerable damage to Foundation property and personnel and thus prompting further containment protocols. It is believed that a malicious Foundation formaturge is responsible for this phenomenon, although their whereabouts have yet to be ascertained. Addendum 1 Affected Nomenclature The following words have been discovered to be affected by SCP-6692 and recommended changes to be made when those words are not in use. Affected Word Missile Recommended Changes Armed Projectile Slash, Hitile. Description. Accidentally discovered following decommissioning efforts of an anomaly when Captain Andy Wagner of the SCPS Voyager commanded his team to deploy armed projectiles against the target. When these armed projectiles inadvertently diverted off course, Captain Wagner jokingly requested that the crew used Hitiles against the target. The subsequent deployment of hit aisles precisely impacted the anomaly. Affected word, harpoon, recommended changes, barbed spear. While attempting to use the equipment on the Icelander travesty ship, Foundation personnel reported that all available barbed spears were replaced with brass objects that emanated a pleasant sound according to eyewitnesses. Foundation personnel would later scrap these objects for their material, selling it to advance funding for underdeveloped sites. Affected word, boomerang. Recommended changes, thrown tool. Description, refer to anomalous event 6691-1. Affected word, heavy weapons. Recommended changes, crew served weapons. Description, Site-118's crew served weapons became impossible to operate due to their increased weight. Affected word, small arms. Recommended changes, portable guns. Description, ordered by MTF Epsilon 35 Ball Busters, squadron leader Randy Charles, MTF agents reported a drastic alteration to their arms and body with measurements reporting that the arm spans of all MTF Epsilon 35 members had shrunk over 40%. X-ray scanning indicated that the muscular and bone structure of these MTF members had strengthened immensely. This process is currently being used as a physical enhancement for MTF members. Affected word, assault, recommended changes, aggravated attack, during an aggravated attack amongst researcher Devin Collins and Daniel Ashenworth, researcher Collins was suddenly stripped of all clothing and displaced with a single grain of salt recovered from his home. This would later be used as an emergency escape method for untrained personnel. Affected word, bullet. Recommended changes, ammunition. Foundation personnel utilizing portable guns during this time were ineffective at harming enemy combatants. All stray rounds would later impact a nearby cattle farm in which a single bull was reported as the sole casualty. Affected word, firearms. Recommended changes, guns slash weapons. Description, Foundation Weapon Specialist J.A. Lee Ted's arms were officially posted to the master list of employees 
and subsequently removed. Standard severance pay was administered to both arms for their service. Affected word, bazooka, recommended changes, rocket launcher. Description. While attempting to use the rocket launcher, MTF agents were unable to fire projectiles from the weapon. Instead, large beehives were ejected. Of note was the considerable buzzing sound that emanated from the weapons themselves. Foundation personnel would later find this effective as a sabotage method, allowing enemy combatants to take defective rocket launchers in order to use against the Foundation. Affected word, light weapons. Recommended changes, man portable system. During a requisition request by MTF Mu-9, mission possible, for backup as they only had man portable systems, the density of all Foundation supplied weapons to the MTF immediately decreased despite their mass and floated into the atmosphere. The weapons have not been recovered. Affected word. Mission. Recommended changes. Hit on. Foundation databases reported a 96% increase of successful MTF deployments following the introduction of newly suggested word. And that's the end of the document. Well, that was a bizarre one, wasn't it? <laughs> it's, it's honestly... Like, it's good that the Foundation now has another way to help themselves. Anyway... Goodbye. Hello everyone, Creepy Otter here. And firstly, I just want to say, the authors of this SCP are Jackal Related and Jack Dragon X. And this SCP was bloody amazing. Just extremely creative. It's amazing. Uh, so go check them out, I'll have their stuff in the description below. And of course, for my things, go to my Twitter for updates and go to my Patreon in the description if you want to support me more. Anyway, that's it for this one. Goodbye.